Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is a quick after school trip during the week. It's a Monday afternoon. Uh, car? Oh. Okay. Uh, is uh, this road is pretty busy, so that's why I gotta be careful of cars. But anyway, as I was uh, so rudely interrupted by my dad. Um, it's about probably say 6:35 p.m. And I'm just hitting the local creek, which is East Branch Cora's. Um, I'm not really targeting anything, but I'd hopefully get some multi-species, maybe some panfish, like green, um, green sunfish, bluegill. I, I'd have to get really, really lucky to get a trout or a bass or something. Ouch. Because, I mean, they do stock this tree in uh, this creek in the, um, in the fall. Actually, down in the description below, I'll link some trout fishing videos that I've had here. Uh, they're actually some pretty basic videos, but yeah. All right, guys. I, sorry, I wasn't recording. I just plopped a mealworm in, trying to get a trout, and I caught this little bass. Just a little guy. Not anything huge, but on a horrible little creek. Large mouth. Toss him back. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna go grab another mealworm. Just if you're a new subscriber, so uh, these are the little worms. This might be gross to you, but it's just a little worm. Um, they're not like uh, night crawlers, but they're just like little orange larvae. But they're really good bait for uh, trout, so that's why I use them. But I'm just gonna hook it just like this to an hook, and I'll just plop it out there real quick. I'm gonna try to get a trout. Oh, I see quite a nice bass right here right in front of me. Oh, get away from the bluegill. Oh, there's a good, there's a nice sized bass right there. Let's see if I can entice him. Nah, man, the bluegills are on it way too quick. Oh, what is that? Oh, bluegill. It's just a bigger fellow. This is gonna be a good multi-species video, I'm predicting. Just a little shell cracker. Nice bluegill. See you later, buddy. Ah, oh, guys, are you kidding me? Another, like, not horrible sized fish I just caught. Again, not on camera. I apologize for that, but there are fish jumping everywhere out here. And I, um, saw this beautiful bass. It probably looks, and actually, I'm looking at my camera. It looks really small, but it's actually not. It's probably like a solid six inches. Actually, if you, if you look, like, over here, it's got a bit of a belly on him, so. Not bad for a, um, for early fall creek largemouth bass. I'll take that any day. See you, buddy. Sweet. That's awesome. Guys, uh, I didn't record again, sorry. But I just, this is the biggest fish of the day for me. Caught it on like three mealworms on a hook. It's a nice, oh, that's a nice creek bass for sure. Uh, oh, he keeps biting. That's, he just came up and destroyed it. That's actually a really beautiful fish. He's probably about six, seven inches. Dad, look. What? He's, he's biting me, but yeah. Nice little largemouth for sure. See you, buddy. I bite you too. Dude, that was, like, that was a decent creek bass. 
So my dad's here now, and we're just going to fish a little bit till we got to go. But. All right, guys, so today didn't quite go to plan, but I did catch some sunfish and I think two bass. But what the real main thing is, that was really unexpected. Well, I caught two trout and I, I gut hooked one of them, which is the brown trout I didn't show you guys. I didn't show you guys, but I caught a brown trout too. And that rainbow trout you guys saw. Um, the rainbow trout I didn't gut hook, but when I reeled him in, the line had wrapped around his gill and it cut up and he and he wouldn't have survived in the brown trout I got hooked and he was already bleeding badly so I feel bad for keeping these because I wasn't even supposed to keep fish today and I feel I feel horrible but but I didn't I don't just want them to go to waste in the creek I mean I'm just happy I caught some trout at least but yeah I mean trout season on and trout season is on there were quite a few I was casting there were quite a few trout under the bridge and I landed two. But yeah, all right guys, catch you in a little bit. All right guys, I'm done fishing for the day. Had a decent amount of luck, caught a few panfish and then that trout surprised, but hopefully I'll be able to do a catch and cook with those trout. But yeah, see you guys. All right guys, so these are the two trout that I caught yesterday. Sorry, I couldn't get that on camera. Uh, I was rushing and I just, I wasn't able to. And also my camera was very low battery. Um, if you hear any sounds or like talk in the background, that's just my family around the house. But what I have here, I have a brown trout and, the, and a rainbow trout and some fresh herbs here. So I have some basil and I think this is uh, parsley or something. And then some lemon. And then this knife is so I can cut scores in the trout. So this is this is the rainbow trout, and we're just gonna stuff it full of stuff. Uh, one of the seasonings I have. Wait, where is this? All right, here. So this is the um, pepper. So it's just fresh ground black pepper, and then some Himalayan pink salt. So that's the lineup for today. And I'm I'm also just gonna squeeze lemon on it. But first, I'm just gonna crack some pepper in this. So. This, this is just a little bit in the inside. All right. So as you can see down there, a decent amount of seasoning. There's actually a lot of meat in these trout, um, but yeah. And when I'm done like with all the seasonings, I'm gonna stuff it full of some of these. And then we gotta do some salt. And there we go. So see the like this, the normal seasonings are done. And um, I um, I'm gonna squeeze probably like a little bit of lemon in it like when I cook. But right now I have to turn up the pan right here to a higher heat so that it gets hot. And I'm gonna stick butter in there to melt. So we're gonna go in the fridge. And right here, butter. And I'll cut a little piece of this off to put in the pan. Actually, I'll put more than that. That too, all right, there we go. Do a little piece of butter. let those kind of melt down a little bit in the pan and yeah I'll catch you guys when all this, when the butter is melted okay all right guys butter is melted and I'm actually gonna put in a tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil there you go just a little bit of that and then I gotta grab one of these over here just a glove so that I don't burn myself when I do this. I'm just gonna grab this pan. Like that. Just kind of sipped it around a little bit. There we go. So now that's good. Um, there's the brown trout, by the way. But we're doing this one right now. So for this trout, um, I'm gonna stuff him. But first, I'm gonna 
score the trout a little bit, so. Cut some, cut some pretty deep scores. So that the meat gets nice and flavored from the lemon and stuff. There we go. And one more, little one. There we go. So we try to score it on that side. Now we're gonna do it on this side. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oops, slipping off the cutting board a little bit. And do one more. So we got the trout scored up, seasons inside. Mix those right on a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. But now what I'm gonna do is take some of these basil and stuff and just put it inside there. Just stuff them full of that. Um, and then so what I'm gonna do, just take this lemon. Actually, I'm gonna take this one. This one's gonna be easier to squeeze. Just squeeze. Um, like just all over it. Get some lemon juice. Get those seeds off. Don't want those. Yep. Basically, get that thing coated in some lemon, and uh, and then what I'm gonna do is take take this. So over here, oh wait, never mind. I actually don't have it, but that's fine. I'll just squirt some lemon juice in the pan. Oh snap! Oh, whoa! All right, that should be enough. And now, what I'm gonna do is basically take the trout. Please don't drop it, please don't drop it. All right, now I'm just gonna. And there I go. I'm gonna turn this pan pretty low. I just burned myself, shoot. It's okay. And then hold on real quick. So there's that. Then I'm gonna grab a lid down here. Down here is where all the silverware, I mean not silverware, like the pots and pans and stuff are. This might not even be big enough. But oh no. Oh wait, it's not big enough. Shoot. I gotta get a slightly bigger one. Be right back, guys. Alright guys. I, the pan is on top of the trout. I'm not exactly sure like how long this should cook, but um, I think it should cook for a decent amount of time. But I'm just excited because I'm cooking trout by myself for the first time. And while we're letting that cook, I'm gonna prepare this one while that one's cooking. Um, so it's the exact same thing. I'm just gonna put the seasonings inside the fish and then I'll score it, put the lemons in, and I'll get some more, um, I'll get some more uh, like basil and parsley stuff and just put in the inside. Um, but yeah, just, oh, I'm just gonna put the lemon here to kind of hold it up like that. Actually, since I'm not using the salt, I'll do that and then, there you go. So, all right, guys, um, since this will probably take a while, I'll, I'll catch you when it's all ready. So yeah guys, um, if you hear that noise in the background, that's just um, power washer washing um, inside my house. My dad's doing it. Uh, but so yeah, this is just a quick little easy method where you can cook trout. Here's the brown trout and here's the rainbow trout. Uh, just the seasonings were some basil, um, some I think it was uh, 
I think, yeah, I think it was parsley, salt, pepper, and lemon juice, and butter, oh, and butter and olive oil in the pan over there. But yeah, so this is just an easy way. Hello, Mr. Fish Butter Boy. Dad's almost finished. Hey, Mom. Beautiful. Yeah, but. Well, glorious. Yeah, the fish. Yeah, so this is just an easy way to oh. make um, trout. So yeah.